Hey guys, welcome back to another SJ Games Live. I'm Hunter, and I'm here with our very first unboxing of the new Munchkin Collectible Card Game expansion, Fashion Furious. This is coming out uh, right at the beginning of September. It'll be shipping to distributors at the end of this month, and getting out in stores in the first week of September is what we've got now. Uh, this is an interesting new set because it's got a little bit of a fashion focus on it, as you can tell from the front here. Uh, it's got some really funny cards. We've got I've got a small peek at them, but I really haven't seen a lot of these cards yet. So I'm going to be discovering this stuff alongside you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the top down, and we'll get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. This is a fresh box. All I did was take the wrapping off. I like doing the, oh, just the protecting the mask, as people have called it. So we're going to open four packs today. We're going to spread it out over the course of a few different episodes. And I'll just take the top four here. Cool. We'll set that aside for now. Cool. One thing I wanted to note is uh, these packs have a different foil. So if you remember our old packs, I don't think I have one around here to uh, compare, but uh, one of the big complaints we got was that the foil on the uh, Desolation of Larg and the Corset Boosters was really thick and hard to open. Uh, this is a lot more similar to other collectible card games now. It's a little thinner. Uh, it's just, it's just, you can feel it. It's, it's lighter. It's not as rigid. It should be easier to open, but we still left a little tab here at the top, so I'm still going to use that. So let's slide these over. Let's get cracking. I'm really excited. I, I've only seen a lot of the art. I haven't seen a lot of the cards. Okay, so let's get, some, looks like I've got some cleric cards right to start here. Okay, so we got the Grow Worm. It's a one gold cost monster, a yokai. So we still got the yokai from the last set, so continuing that trend. And it's a one damage, one life monster, and it's survivor draw card, so pretty straightforward. The chump dump, <laughs> cleric. Location, this comes into play zapped. Reduce the gold cost of the first ally played each turn by one. Okay, so easy to easier to play allies. Uh, if, if you were part of our ch uh, national championship, allies are pretty popular, so that could be useful. Do Penance, one gold for mischief, zap target allies. So there you go. So you got ally things to help you play allies, things to help you zap them. <laughs> well, there's a new bard card, the Safety Dance. As always, our bard tends to have music-themed cards. Uh, mischief Treasury, <laughs> unzap target allies. So there you go. You got the uh, zapping allies and unzapping allies uh, in different classes there. You got the Squash Buckler, so this is a neutral card, uh, common still. A two star, one damage, three defense uh, weapon. So that's pretty useful. That's a that's a pretty strong one. The Heckler. This is a monster beastie for the Centaur Warrior. Three cost. Uh, got one damage, two life. So a little, little low cost, low damage, and low life for the cost. But deal two damage to target stash monster. That's really useful. That's that's pretty hilarious. So uh, you can just do target removal. Ah, there it is. Dress to kill. Some people were asking us about our. Uh, Gen Con ads in the uh, championship playmat where that came from. This is where that came from. Dress to Kill is a Thief Mischief Treachery. Zero cost. Discard two cards. Deal two damage to any target. So uh, you're going to have to discard some cards from your hand, but it's targeted damage potential removal, so that's really good. Man, that's actually that's a really good one. I like that. Uh, Crystal Ball Pit. we got the uh, wizard, uh, wizard location here, common. During each hero's reckoning step, that hero looks at the top card of their deck, and may put it back on the top or bottom of their deck. Okay, I really like that one. So gives you a little bit of uh, deck manipulation. Not exactly card draw, but card control. I do I do like it. Oh, this is a location. We got a lot of locations in this pack. This is Gatored Community. A uh, uh, oh, I, I thought that was an S. I thought it was an S. It's a number five five in the set. Uh, a neutral location. During each hero's wrecking step, that hero discards one card or takes one damage. So. Oh, that's just gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. So that's an uncommon. It's our first uncommon, actually. Dave, Devourer of Doodads, a skeleton that's chomping on a scepter. So he's a four cost, four damage, four life. When this is hired, you may also squish a loot you control. If you do, it gains two damage. So that's good. That's solid. The Rumble B. Uh, I, I believe the uh, the B from the last set was one of my favorite thief cards. What's this do? So two gold for a one damage, one life. Monster sketchy. Look through your deck and choose a monster card. Reveal it. Move it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So it's a, it's got a. So it's if you've been cheating, you're able to search up monsters. That's really really good. And another mischief. So this is the juice cleanse for the centaur warrior. Uh, 
Mischief Treachery, it has X gold cost. X equals the star of target weapon you control. Uh, squish that weapon, then deal X damage target here and squish target loot with X loss. Wow, that's really good. So essentially you're going to squish your own weapon, deal that much damage to an opponent, and take out one of their loot. So you're paying gold for that and a weapon, but that's really strong. So there's our cards from this one. That's a pretty solid opening pack. I really like Dress to Kill. I really juice cleanse is really good too. Actually, I think those two might be my favorites. I'm gonna pick Drew. I'm gonna pick Jess to kill. That might be my favorite in that pack. I like leaving my favorite card on top. But I actually like a lot of these. They're pretty useful. So dress to kill will go on top there. Let's open pack two. Okay, so some people from Gen Con might recognize this one. This is Make Overlord. This was actually a uh, promo card. We have an alternate art version of this. Uh, let's see, costs two gold, has two life. Uh, ally, when this comes into play, squish target stuck card. So similar to the uh, body guard, except it doesn't have to die to do that. Uh, grower, we saw that one already. The Glampire, a thief card. Uh, two gold for a three damage, one heart monster. If any hero is bleeding, it gains two hearts. So if they're bleeding, it becomes a little bit harder to kill there. So that's cool. Ah, the other play mat art. Fashionable. Three gold for a two, uh, two attack, two life monster. But it does squish target armor, which is pretty useful. So good way to get rid of some loot. Got the uh, high heels. Oh, geez, the high heels. Just It's heels made out of band-aids. This is for uh, the cleric. One star, zap, target stash monster, heals up to two. So it heals monsters, which is something the cleric hasn't had access to really, so that's pretty cool. Uh, four gold, or four gold, bottom feeder, sorry. Four gold for a four damage, four life monster with recycle two, which is, I'm actually a really big fan of recycle, and I think that's a that's just a solid stat line. The ranger could use a lot of recycling stuff, so lets you clear out some of the worst cards in your hand and get better stuff. Got another dress to kill, awesome. Closer to a play set of those. Uh, baggage check, so this is a neutral location to common. During each hero's reckoning step, if any hero controls three or more loot, that hero must squish one target loot they control. Okay, so it keeps those really uh, loot heavy decks like Cleric and Centaur a little bit under control. Ooh, another Ranger card. I always like getting Ranger. Uh, magnetic Helmet, two star. Zap, prevent one damage if you do collect one, so that means put a token on this. And then zap squish target loot with rank equal to or less than the number of tokens on this. Then squish it. So you can you can use it to prevent damage. And as you're preventing damage, you're getting uh, tokens. And then if you are tired of preventing damage with it, you can zap it to take out our loot. So that's that's a really useful little card. Uh, another armor. So obviously the armor destroying monster is going to get some workout in this uh, in this set. Uh, left sleeve, a one star loot armor. Use this, uh, use use when a monster deals damage to you. Zap. Prevent up to two of that damage, then squish this. So it's kind of like a one one use pony, one trick pony there. Uh, a little bit worse than the meat shield from the first set for ranger. Or not meat shield, the uh, that, the one time use armor for the ranger in the first set. I honestly can't remember right off the top of my head. But the one that comes in the starter deck. But still still useful and also it's, it's neutral so any deck can use it. Dave, Devour of Doodads. We saw him there. And performance enhancing thug. Oh boy. Uh, two gold cost ally at two hearts. When this is committed to a fight, draw a card. So that's just that's just good. That's a good card. I that's very, very useful. A an ally I mean allies obviously can die pretty easily, but yeah, just to replace itself and block an attack, that is really good. Um, that might be my favorite card. That I mean, you know what? I think it's magnetic helmet actually, because I like the Ranger cards, and I think the more cool stuff Ranger gets, the better. Another pack here. We've got one after this. Runway lights. We've got wizard loot trinket. Zap bravado. So bravado is actually a new mechanic in this set. Uh, you get to use bravado. You flip your runaway marker from runaway to limp away, uh, which is it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. That means, but that does mean you can't run away your entire next turn without taking damage, which is very very useful to do. So. Uh, it, gives, it makes it where you can get stronger effects like this. So you could zap bravado, so you turn your token over. Target hard monster deals no damage during this fight. So you can just prevent all damage from a monster. But, again, you're getting rid of your runaway token. So, it's a trade-off. The Neat Freak. This is a Centaur Warrior ally. Uh, two life, two gold cost. Zap, move target, unzap loot you control to its owner the owner's hand. So... You can just return your loot to your hand. That's pretty interesting. Uh, cool uses for this might be like 
use you know, smack weapon to smack someone, return it to your hand, play it again. And, oh, no, it's unzapped loot. Nope, you can't even do that. Interesting. Might just be usable to replace stuff without having to um, ride over it, discard it. Uh, hairspray. <laughs> Jeez. A one-star uh, loot trinket for the bard. We've got Zap Bravado, again, showing up here. Target hired monster gains three power. So that's cool. So this is this one makes a lot more sense to me because it's got a... You use it on your turn to get, give power to your monsters, but again, you're giving up the chance to run away for free next turn. Oh, we've got Sharp Dressed Man. I love the puns for the bard. Uh, three gold for a two damage, three life monster. Deal one damage to the defender for each weapon they committed to this fight. So more you send against them, the worse it is for you. Midas Crutch. <laughs> this is a wizard loot weapon. Two star for a two damage, two defense weapon. If this is committed to a fight and the monster is squished, take one gold and one damage. So... Uh, kind of similar to Beezlebub. You get some gold, get some damage. Commentator. This might be one of my favorite cards. Oh, geez. He's one gold for zero damage, two health monster. His survivor is draw a card. He's just a card drawer. He doesn't do damage. I like him a lot. The Vogue Elephant. One gold. For, oh, wow. One gold for three damage, one heart. That is strong. What's the downside? Roll the die, one to three. The die roll has no effect, or four to six in the fight, and move this to your stash face up. So it could either do nothing. I mean, this is really good. It's either one gold for a three damage monster, or it's one gold and you waste your attack. So that's that's still pretty, I think that's worth it. That's pretty good. Heckler, uh, we saw that one a little bit earlier. Dave, we got Dave in all these packs. He's, he's all over the place. Cross Blesser. Uh, this is three gold for a two damage, two life monster. Squish all curses and liposuction. That is a really useful one. So it gets rid of all those bleeding effects, things like that. Yikes, that is solid. Battle joints. Oh man. Uh, two gold or two me two star uh, loot trinket. Use only when you play a mischief. Zap deal one damage target hero, ally, or monster. That's just that's really solid. Uh, so I'll definitely be playing that one. Sock full of rhinestones. Uh, that's a two star, or excuse me, one star uh, loot weapon, one damage, zero defense. Uh, zap, move one token from target card with a collect ability to this card, and it gets one defense for each token. So if you're collecting tokens on other cards, you can move them to this one. Gives it a little bit more defense. Pretty useful, but one star, that's, yeah, that's worth it. Uh, Battle George is pretty good. Oh, man, that's some good cards in that one. Um, it's commentator, though. It's got to be commentator. It just has to be. I love them so much. Sorry about hitting the camera together, guys. One more pack for today. Again, we've got a number of packs in here, though, so don't don't worry. We got we got a good good amount of episodes left. So, Wizard Mischief Curse. Speaking of curses, two gold costs. Stick this to target loot. Reduce the star of that loot by one. If this is squished, also squish the stuck loot. So, oh, that's a V. That's our first V. That's at the front of the pack. That's awesome. Reduce the star of this loot by one. If this is squished, also squish target. Suck loot. Okay, cool. So you can just make a loot cheaper so you can play more loot. That's actually pretty cool. So that's a V. That's neat. We got a heckler. We saw that. Weak sauce. Oh, man. Uh, so weak sauce, one star. It's a ranger loot trinket. Zap, reduce the power of target weapon by one. Or zap, reduce the defensive target weapon by one. That's very, very flexible. I actually like that card quite a bit. I dig it. Uh, so that's a cool one. Hairspray. We saw that one a little bit earlier. Velocipede. It is a stuck together bicycle. Uh, zap, it's one star loot trinket. Zap your hero card. Draw one card. Then move one card to the bottom of your or to the bottom of your deck. Oh, this is another V. We got two Vs in one pack. Uh oh, distribution issue? No, uh, we don't have that in this in this set. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately for everyone else, but that is interesting. I'll double check with them. Uh, it may just be randomly inserted over certain cards in the set. That's actually really cool. So. Yeah, this uh, lets you draw a card and put it on the bottom deck. Kind of like the Thief's ability, but again, it has to be on a trinket. You're having to use your hero ability to do that. So if you're building around potentially like another hero, this might might be good, might be not. Eh, it gives you some flexibility, though. I do like that. Yokai Hide Pants. Oh, man. Uh, so Yokai, again, uh, showing up in the name, not in the type this time. So three-star loot armor. Squish target monster in your stash. Heal two. So lets you use some of your monsters to get some damage or get some life back, I guess. The Club of Confidence. Uh, this is a three-star loot weapon for the Centaur Warrior. Bravado, again, showing up. 
flip your runaway token. This gains three damage until the end of the fight. So you give up your ability to run away, but man, that's a five. That's potentially a five damage weapon. That is really good. Death Worm. So this is a two gold, two damage, two life monster for the thief. Survivor, your, home, your opponent must spill too. So spilling, get more and more of that. Oh, I love pumpkins. Halloween. I know Halloween's not coming up, quote unquote, but I'm already in the Halloween mood, so this is perfect. Pumpkin Python, Monster Yokai, two gold for a three damage, three life monster. When this is switched in a fight, the defender may move one card from their discount pile to their stash face down. Still seems worth it. Two gold for a three damage monster? That's really solid. The Fair Claire, uncommon. Uh, this is a Centaur Warrior, two gold for a three life ally. Use only when you play a weapon, zap, draw a card. Very good. Very good for the for the uh, uh, Centaur Warrior. That is solid. Just just card draw. And whatever, Mancy. Oh, not our last card. Thought that was our last one. It's an uncommon. Two gold for a cleric. Uh, mischief interrupt. Use when checking for cheating. All damage dealt is reduced to zero until the end of this fight. That's solid. Oh, and we got our bard card, Shrug. Shrug it off, I guess. Two gold costs for Mischief Interrupt. Ignore target Mischief card as it is being played. That card is stashed, and its owner returns the gold paid to the purse. And it has Encore. Oh, this could be very game-changing. That's going to be interesting. A returnable, essentially Mischief Counter. That's really good. That might be my favorite, but it's got to be Pumpkin Python. Because it's Halloween time. Not really. But, yeah, guys, that was our packs for today. Uh, so, want to make a couple notes at the end here. Again, we are going to be opening up even more of these, but you can also enter to win one of these packs if you comment below with your favorite one of these cards, whichever card was your favorite, and like our page. We'll be picking a winner next week to get one of these awesome booster packs here. Uh, you'll be sent that in the mail, so you'll get some Fashion Furious cards a little bit early. Also want to make a note, you can pre-order Fashion Furious, check with your local game store now, or you can pre-order in Warehouse 23, it's in the description below. And also we just put our Foil Hero Pack online, which was available at Gen Con, it's now available on our website. It's 8 bucks. you get one of each hero, all in alternate art foil. It's a pretty cool little deal. Uh, also want to make a note, thank you guys very much for showing up to our National Championship qualifiers and the National Championship itself. We're working on an article for that. Uh, we will be posting that at some point soon. Still working on it. We have all the deck lists and everything. Uh, just trying to get some stuff written out for that. So probably won't see that this week. Most likely next week uh, is more likely for that. Uh, but we are going to be posting the event locations for the Fashion Furious release events, which are also coming up right after the release of the set. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That should be going live uh, very soon, either like into this, probably the end of this week, so either today or tomorrow. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, but guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week where we open some more packs.